Alright, so minimize what you want. Just minimize it. Alright, so minimize what you want. So now we've got two more weeks in here. So for the last week, we're going to finish up creating the worksheet, and the last step is embedding a chart. So we format the worksheet, we enter the formulas. Now the last step is embedding the chart. So Justin, you're going to read our learning goal for today. Well, um, Antoine. Um, hey, Justin. Students will be able to create and display simple charts in Excel, pipeline, and column. All right, so you students will be able to create and display simple charts in Excel. So we're going to create a pie chart, a line chart, and a column chart. So does anybody know? What's our reason in creating the chart? One second, one second. Yes. Yes. Yes, you can. Go ahead. Caboso. Go to Lover. All right, so again, anybody know why why we put charts in Excel? Cameron, here's your hand up. Okay, so it allows people to visualize the data. One more reason. Justin. Um, I think it's because it's more organized. Charts more organized than, than the data? What? Or what? What's more organized? What's the question again? Why do we add charts in Excel? Uh, I don't know. You was, you was on the right track. But, but. Yep, so format the worksheet to make it easier to understand. So, go ahead, Antoine. So first off, what is a chart? So a chart is a graphical representation of data contained in a worksheet. So go ahead and type that definition in Microsoft Word. Your first vocabulary word. So a chart is a graphical representation of data contained in a worksheet. Yeah, new page. Graphical representation or so like a visual, giving you something to look at. Back to the definition. Go ahead, Antoine. So back to our question: Why do we add charts? Jansen, read that. It's the first reason we add charts. Charts can make the data in the worksheet easier to read. So charts can make the data in the worksheet easier to read and understand. It goes back to what we talked about earlier. Same thing. When you're looking at a lot of numbers, it's hard to see trends. It's hard to see relationships. But when you put the data into a chart. And it's easy to understand those trends and relationship with the data. All right, one more reason. Two more reasons, actually. Go ahead, Yeah, yeah go ahead. Um, charts and so also, charts and graphics add visual impact to the worksheet and help convey the meaning of worksheet data. So, backspace, Antoine. So if I just told you to look at the data in the plan again worksheet that we created. Could you tell me anything about that data, Sarah? Either one. If I just told you to look at those numbers, could you tell me any relationship in those numbers? No, right? But if I told you to look at the chart and I asked you, 
which sales channel brought in the most revenue, what would you say? The blue, right? I know you can't see it. The blue, so it'd be male. So charts let you recognize those relationships and those trends much better. One more. And the last reason, charts allow readers to see at a glance patterns or relationships in the worksheet data. Same thing I explained. So the first chart, the pie chart, put this in your definitions. So a pie chart shows the relationship of a part to a whole. So how much of that part is taken out of the whole? Changes in data over time or comparing data. Displaying changes in data over time or comparing data. So anytime we're dealing with parts of a whole, we set a pie chart. Anytime we deal with changes over time, we input a column chart. And the last chart, Robert, read it. Displaying continuous data over time, comparing data. Line chart. So a line chart, displaying continuous data over time, or comparing data. I'll do a few examples of a few of these. Go back to what we talked about in the beginning. So why why do we really need a chart? Why? What's the importance of a chart? It's great data and worksheet easier to read and look at the same thing. Go ahead, Jason. What's that? Okay. Easier to read and understand. Easier to read and understand. And give it a visual impact, right? Because it's, it's three type of learners, but two of them, it's an auditory learner and it's a visual learner. So some people learn by what they hear, and some people learn by what they see. So if they can see the data in a chart, then it's easier for them to learn the data. I'm a visual learner. I have to see stuff for me to learn. So if you go to the step 5-1, we're going to practice creating a column chart. So go back to Excel. So we got a simple Excel spreadsheet, we got computer costs, and we got Dell, Gateway, HP, and IBM. We got the cost. So Dell costs what, $800, Gateway, $775, HP, $900, and IBM, $995. So what I want you to do is highlight the range A3 to B7. Now again, go to insert, the column. Okay. 
column. Yeah, I'm going to go to the 3D column. Yeah, 3D cluster column. Hit OK. So based on that chart, which computer cost the most? IBM. And that's a very simple chart. So just talking about some, some functions of the chart. The chart title is cost. We're going to change that to computer cost. Everybody got so that's the chart title. Chart title is computer cost. So now we got a horizontal axis and a vertical axis. Which way is horizontal? Up and down or left and right? Left and right. Left and right. Left and right. Horizontal is which way? Left and right. Left and right. Horizontal is uh, or, right. horizontal. This way? Yeah. Oh, Vertical goes up and down, right? Yeah. All right. So go ahead and click on the chart. So click on the chart, and then go to the layout on the far right. Go to the layout. So now we got axis titles. So we got a horizontal axis and a vertical axis. Can everybody see that? Yeah. So we got a horizontal axis and a vertical axis. So go to the primary horizontal axis first. Where? On the page layout? Yeah. Do you go to what? No, not pay. Yeah, layout right here. Layout. Where's that? Oh, click on your chart first. Click on your chart. It's in your chart too. So click in your chart. Should be in your chart twos. Then go to axis titles. So we see a horizontal goes left and right. So go to title below axis. Then what should this name be? What should our horizontal brand, axis name? Brand names, you're going to brand names, same thing, yep. So brand names. And now click on the chart again, go to axis titles. So now we're going to create our vertical axis, which goes up and down. What should our vertical axis name be? Is it a vertical title? Cost. Yeah. So we double click in there and go to cost. You can delete title out of there. So, very simple chart, right? Yep. So, just save it. And then let's go to one more chart. Let's go to Project 5-1. Save it. Copy Just go to File Open. So, that's our column chart. Save with what? You ain't got to save. Just go to File Open. We'll save it together. Let's go to Project 5-1. Let's practice one more chart. Project. Uh, All right. 
so it should be the least visited parts of the national park system. So let's highlight A3 to B10. A3 to B10. We're going to start one more column chart. So go to column, and then go to 3D. Based on this chart, which park was the least visited in 2002? Anderson. Uh, North Cascades. Based on the chart? Yeah. Oh, no. Wouldn't have North Cascade on the chart. So, which one was the least visited in 2002? Look at the chart. Alberto, La Cien Volcanic, right? Right here. You should be an A3 to B10. North Cascade is in A11. That's a different? Oh, right. It's a leak. Oh, I didn't know what to do. I'm real man. Step five. All right, North Test case, right? So let's just practice again. Enter the chart title. So chart title is fine. So let's go to click on the chart. Layout, axis titles, then what should our horizontal axis be? National Park Name. So we enter charts for a visual graphic. And to make the data easier to read and understand. And now we're just learning some chart twos. So what about our vertical axis? Attendance, right? Yep. Entering charts on the same worksheet, these are called embedded charts. They're embedded in the worksheet. Let's go one more thing. Click on the chart, let's go to data labels. Now, can anybody think of what, if we click data labels, what do you think it's going to do? Label the data. Label the data, right? So click on data labels. And then go to show. So now we got the figures in the chart. Then of course go to design, and we can play with the colors and all that. I think my chart is the coolest. Uh, Robert cheated. Nah, not enough color. All right, so which chart is this? 
What's the two charts we created? Pie chart? How'd you make it? No, what's two charts we created? Pie chart. No. Pie chart. Pie chart. Column chart. Column chart. How do I make it black? So again, what's the reason we insert a chart in Excel? To make it easier to read and understand and to give it a graphic visual. And so we've got a pie chart, a line chart, and a column chart. So I want you guys to open the next three, proje next three projects and the instructions will be on the board. Yeah, just minimize where you at. Open project five dash two, three, and four. And the instructions are in your handout. So does anybody have any questions? No. Okay. No? Yeah. Alright, so we learned how to produce simple charts.